Hello everyone, my name is Vakas Said. This channel is for the people who are passionate for learning in automation field. This channel is for the student as well as for automation professional. I had experience of more than 8 years in industrial automation field. I am going to start this web series on Subcon DC system. But before directly going to introduce the Subcon DC system, I thought that I should first give some Subcon company profile and subcon company contrib contribution in automation industry so starting with subcon profile subcon is a hongzhou based china company established in 1993 subcon is one of the leading solution and service provider company in the process automation let's discuss some of the achievement of subcon company According to the ARC advisory group, Subcon is the number one DCS supplier in China. It has more than 20,000 global customers. It has more than 38,000 DCS installations all around the world. Other than the China, it has presence in seven countries include Hong Kong, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, India, Pakistan, and Middle East. Subcon has covered Almost all the process industries which include oil and gas, refinery, petrochemical, chemical, power plants, building and materials, pulp and paper, and metal. Some of the major clients for oil and gas, refinery and petrochemical include the companies like Sinopec, CNPC, Blue Star, etc. In chemical industry, Subcon has big clients like Stara Chemical, ICL, and Nimer Chemical. In power sector, Subcon has many clients like Surf Global, Chinyot Power, SNTPC. You can see the detailed list of client by visiting Subcon website. Now we will see the roadmap of improvement in Subcon DCS hardware and software since its introduction in the market. In 1993, Subcon introduced his first DCS system with the name of GX100. In 1996, Subcon introduced the upgraded variant of GX100 with the name of GX300. Then in 1999, GX300 system was upgraded to GX300X system. As GX300X system was for a small scale system, Subcon introduced ECS100 system for the medium scale system. At the moment, ECS100 system is also obsolete and GX300XP system can be used for small to medium scale application. In 2004, Subcon introduced a PLC with the name of GCS2, which is also obsolete now and is replaced by the PLC model of GCS3 and GCS5. In 2006, Subcon upgraded model of GX300X and launched their latest up uh, upgraded model GX300XP, which is currently available at the moment. In 2007, Subcon has introduced their large scale system with the name of ECS 700. As I am saying, large scale system, it means that a single domain can support up to 65,000 point of tax and ECS 700 itself can support 16 control domain and 16 operation domain. We will see this detail in our further upcoming videos. In 2017, Subcon introduced his own SIS system, safety instrument system, which is applied in the critical fields such as ESG system, BMS system, FNG, fire and gas, and CCS system, etc. Now, coming toward the software. Subcon introduced their first software with the name of Adventroll 3.03.
Then with the launch of JX300X, Subcon upgraded the software and launched Advantrol 3.16 which is compatible with all its previous variant. And uh, after that Subcon introduced Advantrol Pro series. Advantrol uh, Advent Pro 2.5 was introduced. Then after that Advantrol Pro 2.67 was introduced and now Advent Roll 2.8 is running at the moment. For ECS 700, VL Field software is introduced. And for their C system, Safe Contracts software is used for the programming of C system. And for the visualization, we use CADA. VX CADA or VL field monitoring system.